good play, place for a pop high. On the other team, but nobody's out on the ice. The game's over. Shaw sneezes, had the head behind signs. I was thinking lately about how lyrics, if you cram too many into a song, I've been not feeling that. Everything I talk about, I'm usually turn around and end up at some other point doing as far as like creativity or whatever, but it's nice to have a at the present moment of a stern place of vision. But uh, for the uh, When I Was Cool album by Elvis Costello, there's so many lyrics in a lot of the songs there, but they're they're needed there because this way of words is, is just so abruptly present and really just hitting through with each word that you really can listen to it and not get bored of it or not feel like you're having to catch up with those songs in the moment of of uh listening to them because if you have a lot of words going through in a song sometimes it sounds like a chore to listen to again you know in my in my opinion anyway so what do you want to do uh can you kind of see how Space underneath there. What do you want to do? There you go. It's kind of like that. <laughs> I didn't know I'd be performing. Ah, just believe me. Why should I have to do this? There. Anyway, you can get paper to slip through. This is bowling down so much, this guitar. Apparently it's solid wood, it's a practice guitar. Here I go again trying to talk about it, but... Eh, I keep trying to think I'm in the best mood to record anything or do any videos or anything. So what are you going to do about that? Anyhow, this is what I'm doing because I'm trying to move away from using Facebook and Meta and all that stuff. So you want to say some more stuff is going to probably get me in trouble or whatever just because I say what I say anyway. Just I... I don't know. Play in front of people. Still, I'm always playing against them. I'm stuck in one of those things of being an being an artist. You're like, you're really sure in a way internally. But it's like, nobody's gonna understand what I'm doing. You don't understand my art or whatever. I was thinking you know, people don't understand the trauma trying to be reverberated into making making something you know, palatable of sorts in a certain kind of way, but I feel like, uh, you know, maybe if you're among anyone you're playing, you want them to not, like, if they're, like, seeing you start to die or something, you'd want people around that would, like, help you out or save your life or something like that, or not just walk by you. I think a lot of the places and a lot of the times I'm doing anything at all, people are just like, oh, we won't give a fuck, this motherfucker's alive or dead. It's like, okay, and then you're supposed to open up part of your soul 
and play and that kind of stuff and this is like yeah that's interesting so that's why honestly and it sounds it sounds it sounds like a niche maybe i can get a niche going i can start to get you know one of those niches finally <laughs> nice isn't that an advantage of not recording this way going this way anyway go out again tired as all hell looking roughed up or whatever trying to <laughs> and like ugh, going in a play some music or just like <laughs> you drink like four cups of coffee and all that kind of thing but i don't know can't get book shows socially screwed socially screwed i feel like i belong anywhere at all but I feel like I enjoy the things that I do. I feel like when things go right. Um, because I finished this up. I'm going to take this song off of here and put it on to it's the It's Rainy Bone Clad Gizmo. The clouds they float with you, but you're so oblivious, so clueless. You just pulled a switch, wrote maps of brick walls, dye your skin. This whole scenario is strictly for left year. You're learning madness to cling oh, to disaster. Off of there anyway. Well, I'll try to search it up again real quick while you're there, you know. Shout out to Swoon, to Dead Man. I already have a video of this song up somewhere on his channel. If you like what I do, you like, say the thumbs up and blah, 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 you know. I don't know. Sign up for my freaking, sign up for my Patreon so I can not have to start safing in gas out of other people's vehicles soon or something. Because that's just a bad look, you know. Alright, this song. about my own music stuff isn't that i don't why would i want to do that that's another part of social media that's weird you know you're just like going to try to use like facebook and stuff and then you're supposed to like you know have your soul your soul essence of of creativity where you're trying to tap into something beyond the physical self of being and then like you you know the attributes of being adequate in the in the functional world come to be where you know some of the spirit of it has to turn into like socially whatever you know socializing <laughs> it's, it's it screws it all up it, it takes any it takes any wonderment away you know it's weird because you have to like know about how way everybody's doing all the time and then there's no room for wonder like if you're some there's somebody that creates out there 
there's like no room for wonder and that patience aspect of that was what you'd get sometimes until the next release came out from somebody and now you get so much information from an individual that you can start to find things you disagree with with the person creating the stuff and you start to know so much and that little room to breathe between one thing and another gets interrupted by the so-called necessity of having social media accounts and everything so i don't know i like creating though i don't like interacting with people it's not for or, or or any lesser, you know, towards this, this stigma thing of what we call humanity and humaneness, you know. It's just, I'd honestly would rather just be making stuff because that's, that's where I am at with what I like to do and what I'm still learning to. Um, so anyway, why did I bring that song up? It's fragile. It's the closing song of Shadow Swoon Hiss the Dead Man. That song fits sound-wise to bone-clad gizmos, and there's a few songs being grabbed from things I'm trying to re-release now. Because this one... No, you don't want to listen to it. I don't want to listen to it either, but I'm going to do this one or this one. I had, like, drum beats <laughs> from, like, some program that I use for like a very short range of time range of time. Sounds like a Lincoln Park song. Anyway it goes it's pretty much just a different version of this one here. This one's a little better though I like this one. Anyway, yeah, that's 2007. I got everything um, in a uh, release folder, so there's 26 things in there right now, and I'm just figuring out going with things I hadn't put on Spotify and all that stuff, but... Typically, I like just linking to the raw files uh, through the web because the quality is something you can ensure to actually translate better because the buffering and resampling and all that that goes through Spotify and this and that does give you a tinnier or muddier sound at times. And that is a scary thing to a person that's already using the minimal means of what they can. But okay, yeah. With that instrumental that I just had recorded, though, the electric guitars were recorded through one of those little speakers, you know, like, we go to, like, to here, and there's a wire through it. It's one of those old desktop computer, like, mid-90s um, speakers, so it actually condensed the sound of the guitars extremely. I mean, we have the death, the, the, the death sentence songs. Which one's this? Is this Big Burger? Which one's this? this burger, this recorded in the, in the same thing with the same microphone so yeah one of these days when I get the money I'll make a whole nother profile for uh, the death sentence one person metal band um, anyway this thing's running out of time 
was just going to clarify. I said hi. I was going to meet people. I went to meet people. I really said hi. And they stood there. It makes me wonder what the hell's going on with my interaction on this planet. So I wrote a song about being an apparition because that's how I feel sometimes. People just st they stood there. They're like, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I'm just trying to say hi, meet he people. I was, I was like, what the fuck's going on, man? So I write some more songs about being an apparition because that's how it feels sometimes or whatever. But anyway, it's just like, fuck it then. So it's just, that's where it comes to be. We're just going to be like, what are you going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play some songs to owls or whatever. And I'm going to play some songs to foxes. I'm going to deal with honing in on... to me and you know having having meaningful experiences with that kind of thing with the presence of you know spirits that on this earth realm and all that kind of stuff but anyway yeah people are people around here are pretty fucking rude man so they're jerks doing it like uh, they're a bunch of jerks as far as i'm concerned <laughs>